Hey guys, it's Carrie here. I'm back with another video, and this time, I'm back with a new video of the Note 9, the hottest flagship of this year. Also, I got a new hairstyle, if you guys notice. But let's get on with this video. So. I needed an upgrade. I had the Note 5 for almost two and a half years and it was almost a thing on this life point because I, did, I started I didn't take good care of it. So I was in the market for a new phone. I was not looking for the Note 9. The Note 8 was an amazing phone. I used it before. I had trust in it. I was like, okay, I'm going to get this. And I took a leap of faith and I wanted to get this phone brand new. And I looked everywhere for a good price. And it was only a $170 difference on the Note 9. And I have, I've been looking everywhere on the internet to see an artist's perspective on it. I haven't seen none yet. So I was like, $170 difference? Let me give it a try. And also I got an open box, so I saved some tax money. So let's get started with this video. It's partly an unboxing. And I only had this phone for about less, about three, four and a half days. So let's see what this beast packs for creators. So, so far on specs, the S Pen hasn't improved much, but just the Bluetooth sensitivity from the Note 8. But I've been loving it so far. It's the, it's the best Note ever. They're not joking about that because of the battery life. And also, this phone, I mentioned how the Note 8 fit so much in my hand, but they improved this slightly, and since I have long, skinny fingers, this is the perfect phone for me. I could shimmy my hands down on it, and I haven't tried this phone for long drawing hours, but I did do a few illustrations and a few client work. I did try it all um, for animation, and I love this thing for multitasking. It's so easy to switch to different projects, and but now, this is, has been my full flagship for almost a week week and I'm blown away and I decided to I was going to use this phone money to invest in a PC but after I just bought the Cinti companion I'm loving it it runs everything I need to all I needed to buy was extra storage and I find the need to buy an extra computer so I was like why don't I upgrade my phone since my Note 5, Note 5 kind of just gave up on me and that was partly my fault because I, I, I messed it up so this phone so far has been holding up amazing. Battery life, storage. With the S Pen, I feel like Samsung has gotten it perfect this time. It's as about as small as it can get. I will make a video comparing this to the Note 8 and seeing how it improved. But so far, this has been the best flagship because it's not just for drawing, it's all around good phone and it could be used as a computer without getting that Dex thing that the Note 8 has. And again, my favorite thing has been the battery life and the storage. I could go up to 500 gig on this baby. And I did not get the 500 gig model because that, that was out of my budget. That's simply, that's all. But I'm loving the 128 gig. And stay tuned because I'll have a lot of test video for this. I'm about to put this baby through all of the tests. It's an investment to my career. Again, I'm, I'm a fan of Sam Samsung. I love the Note series. I want to show people that this is more than just a phone. Samsung is thinking about us, thinking about us artists. And I feel like a lot of, I've um, seen some reviews where some people recommend that Samsung double the pressure sensitivity. And I don't see a difference in double the pressure sensitivity. I find it perfect as it is. One thing they did improve is hardware. The, there's n n virtually no lagging. I probably said that in the Note 8 video, but this time it's directly on screen paper and Samsung has perfected that. And the reason I don't think the pressure sensitivity part, because I use the Wacom Cinti Companion and it's about double the pressure sensitivity that I'm used to. And I didn't notice too much of a difference with being super sensitive because it didn't improve. It didn't make me a better artist, and it improved my it didn't improve my workflow in a way that it made me draw faster. Okay, I take that back. It did improve my workflow, but it did not make me uh, it did not make me Picasso overnight just because I had eight thousand levels of pressure sensitivity. So I think that argument is invalid. Samsung has created some great hardware in this. And 
My biggest complaint so far has been the fingerprint. This is fingerprint magnet, and I know that's a small complaint coming for a little fingerprint. I haven't got a case on it yet, but so far, first impression, this phone seems worth it to me. And for multiple different reasons, for if you're a creator, you draw, you design, you create, you do video, this is the phone for you. I love this phone so much I've been drawing when I'm taking showers. And I know that's in the $180 difference was all worth it so far. So watch out for my full review for more specifics. But right now I'm just Googling over this phone because it's no joke. Everything's a lot faster. Also another thing I don't like is this Bixby button. I keep accidentally clicking it like everybody else says. But otherwise it's no big deal. People are complaining about the size but it's perfect for people like me. And I'm somebody who doesn't get uncomfortable with the S Pen after a long time. I love drawing on this. And so wait till the full artist review where I go in full depth on how it comes out with all my tests where I test it for long hours and I still do the same thing where I start um, start work on here and I finish it on my main PC and go back and forth and it, I love the streamlined process of this and the screen, the color accuracy is a big thing especially when you're, if you're a designer and the video field I do both I'm, um, I'm a video editor and I'm also a motion graphic designer for a um, company I mentioned that in a lot of my video because I'm really proud of it and I love my job and that's the big reason I like to invest in this because I'm able to do a lot of the preliminary sketches again you could do this on any note but the any almost any note phone since almost every note every note phone has an S Pen but the thing that's different about the Note 9 is the power and the power behind it and you'll see that over time after you had a piece of technology for so long on how it degrades over time part of it like a guess like I said, when I guess this, Samsung will slow down the update for the Note 5, but that's not why mine messed up. It messed up hardware-wise. It was starting to get slow for me, and mine was refurbished, so I didn't take the best. The previous owner didn't take the best care of it. I was lucky for about two years. That I'm so happy it lasted me two years, but it didn't. It didn't make the full cut, and so I'm happy to finally have a brand new phone that feels like yours. And I'm happy to say this, this is my full flagship and that I could do a lot of the base ground work for everything. Even video, but for video wise, video editing on the Note 9 all depends on software. I haven't found a good software, so um, I use it for animations and drawing and design and that's about it. <laughs> so guys, watch out for my full review. I just wanted to be a resource for you guys. If you guys are artists, you work in the field, I do not recommend this phone for hobbyists. If, you're, if your job doesn't pay for it, I would not recommend getting this phone. This phone is for me as an investment and I do use it in my field and improve my workflow a lot. So if the job's not paying for the phone, do not get it. Do not get it as just an accessory. I recommend you just get the iPad Pro. So that's my two cents and watch out for my next couple videos on this. I'm really going to crank this out guys. I really want to test this, this full cut abilities because this phone is like the is the note 4 of this era it's future proof the note 4 was future proof for a long time it had everything so I can't wait to hit this baby up with everything that I can so keep you guys posted and my next video will be an animation so keep in touch with you guys that I'll be mainly doing all the groundwork on this note 9 so stay tuned